And changes could soon be coming to East 4th Street after the city council unanimously approves a proposal last night to turn the downtown area into Cleveland's first permanent outdoor drinking area. This might be exciting for some, but it's controversial for others. Our Isabel Lawrence joins us from the popular street with more on what this could mean for restaurant and bar customers there. Isabel, good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah, last night, Cleveland City Council gave the green light to create a Dora here on East 4th Street. That's a designated outdoor refreshment area. And now all they're waiting for is the final sign-off sign -off from Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb. So the creation of a Dora, again, that's a designated outdoor refreshment area, would mean those of legal drinking age could buy alcoholic drinks in a designated plastic cup from noon to 2 a.m. every day and walk around the Dora, meaning they would not be confined to a specific restaurant patio within this designated area. This means restaurants could get rid of their fences and replace them with planters. There will also be posted signs to show that Dora boundary. Big city, I think every city should have something like that. Well, I'm not sure yet how I feel about that, but I think it would be good for business, but it could definitely potentially lead to some dangerous situations. Well, Cleveland would not be the first community in Ohio to do this. The state approved the creation of Doras back in 2015, and nearby cities like Shaker Heights, Akron, and Canton already use them. So what comes next here? Well, Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb is expected to sign this legislation today, and that would put the Dora into effect immediately. However, 3 News did stop by here on East 4th Street last night to speak with businesses. They say they're not quite ready yet, as they are still waiting for some of those designated plastic cups and the signage. Dave and Carmen. Yeah, but when uh, they are ready, there will definitely be a buzz downtown. All right, Isabel, thank you. We'll see you later this morning. Meanwhile, some other items council tackled last night. Members approved spending $5 million to help the city's Habitat for Humanity program. They'll also approve nearly $50 million in American Rescue Plan Act funds to help housing for families and seniors. The city will also soon contract with a new company for new and improved parking meters that will take more than just coins for payment.